Hi all and welcome back, it's Nick Morell here at Nick Morell Abstracts and we're going to do a simple one tonight. I've already prepped the um, canvas, it's a 22 by 18 and we've prepped that again with Mars Black, number 26, the Pebo range. And again it's been with a liquid pouring medium on a 50-50 or one-to-one -one basis and that way nice glossy finish. I'm going to try some um, sort of aqua blue colours um, a customer's asked me for. So cut, um, products using tonight. It's going to be the my favourite, which is the Ultramarine Dowla Rowney Ultramarine Blue. We're going to use some of that. I've got some Deco Arts Sapphire Blue, a real metallic -y blue. Um, the Pebo 358, which is the green blue. It's a diner, so a mix of green and blue. It's quite metallic-y. We're gonna try that. I've got some um, pearl white in the mix as well. And I've got some silver, 351, Pebo, high velocity again, metallic. And I might, I'm gonna see how it goes, I might add some gold, some Deco Arts, 24 karat gold, I might just put a vein through the middle um, once we're sort of um, swiped through. I'm going to use the kitchen towel swipe method again and we're going to see how it goes. So we're probably going to go half and half, halfway. So about halfway. So we're going to run about halfway there and there. Put a little mark there, just run off. Ultramarine blue first. This is the 358, and this is the green blue. Can run that across the top. Sapphire blue. And now this is the pearl white. Just a bit of that on the top. Followed by some silver just on the top. And we're going to swipe that through that way. So you can do it again this way. Just going to add a bit more blue into that, the bottom. Blues on the black, always nice. Now you can put another layer, this end as well. So we'll do that. So just repeat it again. 358. Then you've got your sapphire blue. So I'm doing this in the middle of this one because I may have this landscape or portrait. And um, we'll see. Pearl white. Followed by your silver. fine. Now we're going to want to swipe from the blue through. Just put these colours to the side. OK, 
again, so we're going to swipe upwards. I just like to swipe upwards first. So it's a kitchen roll. And we just, just literally swipe. And um, we wet the bottom edge. Now I want to lay it about where that blue is. Just roughly where the blue is, let it suck. And then pull through. Okay, nice and steady. Silvers are coming through. So we've got darker center. Then we'll go again. Lay it on the blue. And just let it take the paint up. Pull through. Nice and steady. As you can probably see, the silvers are just coming through on the edge. Which is quite nice. Again, we'll lay it on that blue. Ultramarine blue mixed with the sapphire. A really nice combination. And you can get some natural selling on that. Maybe just got to pick that little one up there. run that through I just run that one again just a little bubble there pick that bubble up that's fine that's got it so the silvers are coming through with the black which are really nice no. Rather than swipe down, I like to turn it round. I just find it easier swiping away from myself. You can see that. I just need to add some more blue where I want to swipe in the middle. Just add a bit more blue there because I want to swipe through that. I have a heavy blue centre. And again, so I'm just going to try and pick up that blue edge. Pull through. Just adding some more blue. It's nice and electric in the middle, which I'm looking for. The silvers are popping through, and the whites. So the pearl white you'll see more as it dries. Get some really nice selling through here. Or some lacing. And pull up towards the edge. You can see it's creating some nice effects through the middle. Got some natural lacing here. 
coming through. I just try and pick this last one up. Pull through. Check over if you want any more pulled through. I might just pull that one there. Look at that silver streak. That's better. Again, so we've got the ultramarine blue through there got some real natural lacing coming up through that center and again I may have this um, portrait just keep checking there's a nice effect here You can see that natural lacing coming through there. I think that's the pearl white that gives you that. I might just add some more colors through that and pull again. Check the sapphire. That use up what we got. That's the sapphire deco art sapphire. It's a really bright blue that one. Three five eight Pebo. So just use the paint up you've got to create some different effects. These are this demonstration to show you what you can do. Get the ultramarine again. Gonna swipe through there to see what effects I can get now. Nice and steady. Nice, we've got the sapphire coming in more there. And just keep playing with this until you, you like your effects. gold and the blues back in so I meant the blues haven't had any gold yet Of different colours. As 
bit more interesting that way. And we'll turn around. Okay, just building up a central effect with them blues. Just swipe through again. Seems a shame to kill that natural lacing, but I just want to just create some different effects. More blues. I'd say not too fast, not too slow. That way you give the paint a chance to create some effects. But that way we're creating more of a blend of blues by going in with a second swipe. So you don't have to. Nice and steady, does ya? And so it's blending nicely. Silvers. And that's better. I was going for more of a heavier, but more of a blended look through the middle. And say so this one. So I may go portrait with this one with the different blues it may look quite nice um, so you've got a center here and a center here and I'm going to lay some gold through that just to create something a bit different I've got my gold in a squeegee bottle here to just run this off I go for quite a heavy cold in the middle and say so that will all blend and move so if you want to create different effects again you've seen me do this before you can just simply run, so you glide that through, and that way you'll pick the blacks up and drag the blacks through to the, the gold. Just glide it over the top, and that brings the black into the gold. It'll move, it won't stay like that, and it'll all merge. That's a simple way of doing. You can either do it with a wooden stick. I just prefer to do it um, with this. And so just a light glide over. And as you can see there, I've just bought a bit of a different effect and that's all gonna move out. Um, so when we have it, either portrait or landscape, these golds, as it dries, it's gonna fan into that blues. I don't know if you can see that. Let me try and lift it up. That's a blue. I say I'm just gonna 
if it's going to go that way portrait it will just create a nice with the blues and the gold almost like a lightning bolt going through the middle and just running that knife with the black it just so the blacks will now merge into that gold and just creates a nice different effect still with the swipe method and that's your golds your gold stripe through you can see now the gold's moving out and that will just create a nice effect as it dries it's going to bleed into the blues and say so different blues the second swipe it just brought all them blues in together with the silvers and the black so the, um, the silver is going to ghost and it's quite metallic -y. you probably can't see that I'm trying to see if i can bring it a bit closer but it's quite metallic -y. and again that's probably it's going to go up that way i guess We'll see how it dries. So but that's a simple, another simple technique for you to try. And so please um, subscribe to my channel. That's Nick Morrow Abstracts on YouTube. Nick Morrow on Facebook as well. Um, Nick Morrow Abstracts on Instagram. Lots of stuff on there um, for you to try. So please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. So that something that's interesting to try. And just the gold, you could even put a red through there if you wanted to, but just try that. Just, and just break it up with either a stick or just a palette knife. And that way you bring the blacks back into play on the background and it just breaks up that gold but it just creates a real stunning effect through the center. And I simply, so use your stick, I just use a palette knife, just be very gentle and to just bring it through. And there you go. So I'll take you in for a bit of a close up. But give that one a try. It just creates stunning effects. I'll just bring the camera down. around and there you go and there's the lightning bolt the gold and that's the effect you get by just dragging that this palette knife through and it'll all bleed there's your different all selling up this would be quite a nice one once it's all dried up there's something different to try And there you go. So we'll leave that one there. I say please give that a try. Until next time, we'll see you later.